Now we must train the program to detect fields on each variant. So we're going to go back to field extraction training batches. We'll create a new batch, and we're going to this time select a field extraction training batch for each of these new variants. So I'll start by selecting the left variant, and I will load images from the left folder. They're getting added. And we'll specify the regions as required for both the order number and the order date fields. And we'll do that for all the images in the batch. And now we'll train this field extraction training batch. We'll repeat the steps for Moinhos. So I'll create a new batch and I'll select the Moinhos variant and I'll load images this time from the Moinhos folder. And they've been added. And once again, we'll specify our field data locations. If we inadvertently capture a colon character that's part of the title, that's near our target data, we can easily clean that up in the data tab in our document definition. Remember that middle edit button allows us to replace unwanted characters from either the prefix or the suffix or anywhere in the field. So we don't have to worry about that right now. And we'll continue specifying field locations for all documents. And we're done. So once again, we can right click and train. We can check the log file. And training is complete. Now that our preparation work is done, we can test our results by going to a working batch, creating a new batch, and we'll load up images and see what our results are. We'll open up a document, and it was recognized as variant ID 2, which was associated with the left variant, and we got the correct information. Same with the second document. The third document was a Moynhos document. You see a colon and a space here. Again, that can be cleaned up using the data tab, and this variant ID for Moynhos is 3. And the next document is another Moynhos document. And we'll skip down and check one last document. Looking good.